The Nova Scotia SPCA has dealt with some pretty serious cases of animal abuse, but the latest controversy is centered around the organization itself. A group of animal rescue advocates in Halifax say the SPCA is not being run properly. They say the president isn't doing her job and should be ousted. The president says the accusations are unfounded and unfortunate. Global's Terry Trembath reports. Janet Chernin has a bone to pick with the SPCA. She heads up Nova Scotia Rescue Crusade, a newly formed group of animal advocates who believe the SPCA's board of directors is corrupt. If you query or criticize or even question the current administration, you're shut down and immediately blocked. Chernin left the board unhappy with how things were being run. When the case of animal abuse at the Celtic Pet Shelter in Cape Breton hit the news, Chernin said the SPCA proved their shortcomings. It's best is not enough in cases like this and when we hear that they had prior knowledge uh, and did not act uh, when they could have, um, that could have alleviated a lot of the suffering of those animals. We at the SPCA have the unusual ability where we are the only rescue group in Nova Scotia that is empowered to actually investigate and lay charges. Pamela Ketty is the president. She's being personally criticized by the Rescue Crusade for taking on too many responsibilities as a volunteer with a full-time job. Ketty, who has been involved with the SPCA since 2002, says she's not surprised by the allegations. When you're dealing with animals, it's a passionate subject. You're going to get very passionate people involved, which you want to have involved because obviously those are the people that are going to put their heart and soul into making every effort possible to assist the animals. The group hopes to bring down the board with a non-confidence vote at the upcoming annual general meeting next weekend. Obviously, I'm concerned about that because, you know, you are your reputation and, and it's, it's concerning to me because there's a lot of unfounded accusations flying around, but you know, if they want to attack me, you know, so be it. Because, you know, I'd rather attack them attack me than attack the society that I'm supporting. Terry Trimbath, Global News, Dartmouth. Turning now to health news, some